Hello everybody and welcome to Amber World once again. I'm pretty excited to be with you today because I have one of the finest DJ in Nigeria you can think of. DJ Neptune, you're welcome to Amber World. DJ Neptune! Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm pretty much excited today because you know, when my sister told me, I know what DJ Neptune, oh my goodness, I would like to have him <laughs> or an Amber World. I'm so happy that we're able to do this. Thank you, thanks for having me. Okay, I've always wondered, you know, when I see people doing something um have you always wanted to be a dj is this something you always wanted to become uh to be honest not really a dj but um i always wanted to be an entertainer i always wanted to be involved in entertainment you know but somehow um i was opportune to attend a party when i was young and then i saw a dj perform life so that's when i fell in love with the act and then i told myself okay i think i'm more comfortable going yeah. to dj Oh, okay. So, how did the journey begin? Uh, journey began professionally 2001, okay. but the zeal to become a DJ started in 1999. Mm -hmm. uh, that was when I, I attended the party I, I okay, spoke yeah. about. You know, so, for two years, I was uh, listening to a lot of music, listening to a lot of um, radio shows, a lot of DJ mixes, trying to get familiar with the songs, yeah. you know, and um, learn more about the acts, you know, but in uh, 2001 I was opportunity to meet a professional DJ, goes by the name DJ Douglas, it's we look at them back to the UK right now. Oh. And so I understood Douglas for a while, for a couple of years before uh, 2004 I was opportunity to get employed with a great bar FM, mm -hmm. which was really, really huge then. Yeah. You know, so everything just basically kick started from there. Okay, the way you're, you're talking, you're making it sound so simple, like, oh, from 2009, I wanted to be a DJ, and oh, voila, you're a DJ. How challenging was the journey? Uh, it was crazy. I mean, life itself is full of challenges. <laughs> you, know, you can't escape that, no matter how perfect you are. You know? So I definitely had mine. When I started, my, my folks, they kicked against it, like, no, hell no, you're not going to do anything that has to do with everything. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> the push, the passion. I just kept it to myself. Along the line, I lost my dad. Wow. Know, so then, I'm being the only boy, I was able to make some certain decisions. I mean, even though then it sounded like I was crazy, mm -hmm. but now it's paying off, everyone is happy. Um, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> how far would come? Yeah. You know, so, yeah, definitely, I, did, I, I had my own challenges. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, with all these challenges that you had, why didn't you just like dust off your um, certificate, go get a job, you just lost your father, your mother needed you, your siblings, I'm sure. Why don't you just go get a paid job? Okay, I, I started pretty young. I started pretty young, but then I was still in school. I was going to school, so I was juggling between boats. Mm -hmm. I studied uh, public administration. Okay. But you know when you have uh, passion for something, yeah. you, just, you just can't escape it. Mm -mm. You know, it keeps dragging you back. And like I said, it's something I've always wanted to do, entertainment, you know, yeah. and I'm that guy that doesn't take no for an answer. The more you tell me no, the more inspired I am, you know, <laughs> challenged I am to prove you wrong. So that was what it was for me. But, I mean, so far it's, it's good. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. So when did you realize that this um, career choice of yours was actually going, when did you like, ah, oh, my goodness, this is actually going to work? When did you start believing? Um, well, for me, when I started, it was, it was more of, Passion. I wasn't even mm. thinking about making money. Making money out of it. There was no money to make out of it back then, to be honest. Because, I mean, by the time you, you put the money you earn as a DJ and what you put back into your equipment, into mm -hmm. buying records, now you can easily go online and download music. Yeah. But then it wasn't even the case of CDs, it was records. So, and you don't manufacture those things here, you have to buy them when they import wow. them. And say I was probably playing the party for like. 3,000 then, and one record cost about 1,200. So you need to keep updating your life. So yeah. It wasn't even about the money, it was about the passion, being fulfilled. I mean, I, I was always fulfilled when I go out for functions, and at the end of the day, everyone comes and you know, give me the handshake, oh yeah, you're a bad DJ. And, <laughs> you know, but, I mean, along the line, the monetary value started stepping in. You know, shout out to the likes of DJ Chibida, who has been there. Yeah. For a very long time, you know, for hard, paved the way for people like myself, you know, and so far it's it's been awesome, you know. Mm, definitely. I can see. <laughs> yeah, it's been awesome, people. Okay, we don't go for a short break. We'll soon be back. Please don't go away.
Greatness. 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 Greatness.
I don't know, maybe, a, I'm, I don't think a lot of people know this, but my favorite soup is Obono. Oh, yes. wow. Obono I think soup. most, most Edo people have <laughs> Obono. <laughs> um, Third would be I'm a very shy person. Forget all the things you see on camera. It's just serious? it's just because of the nature mm. of my work. I have to <laughs> I have to bring that in one is my very, very difficult to believe. <clears throat> no, no, no. I'm actually like if you catch me in my quiet moments, yeah. you almost think I'm not DJ Neptune. Like I just <laughs> want to. How do you get behind the whole thing and and you know scatter the whole place and everything? How do you face the whole I crowd? I mean, is is. Is the nature of the job. It's like I said, when you're trying to do something, you need to understand what you want to do, yeah. learn. So these are things you need to do to entertain, to get the people entertained. Okay, lastly, before we go, if you're made the president of this country, mm. say by some miracle, what would be the first thing you would do? Okay, first, politics is not my thing. Let's get that straight. <laughs> okay. But if by chance yeah. I become the president of this country, um, it's not easy, trust me, because we don't even know what is yeah. up there you know what you're mm -hmm. going to meet but one of the things i would like to i would love to tackle that is really that i feel we make a lot of things fall in place yeah. is the power sector okay yeah i feel like once that is in place a lot of things mm -hmm. are going to be easy say for instance uh food yeah. um you reduce the cost of um, having to buy diesel or whatever to run yeah. your business. So mm -hmm. cost of things are going to definitely going to fall down. And um, yeah, and aside from that, um, um, unemployment as well. Create more avenues for, for people employment. to yeah. be employed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you people for watching Ambavo. Today we've been here. Hope you have entertained and also inspired you. So before we go, any last thing you want to say to your fans? Um, thank you guys for supporting the brand DJ Neptune. Um, we've come a long way and trust me, we're heading to our greatness. So I want to say I appreciate your love and support. Keep supporting DJ Neptune. Yeah. Go out and buy my album. Greatness is available on all digital stores. Okay. Watch my video on YouTube as well. Okay. And if you want to stay connected with me, you can do that on my website. It's www.djneptune.net. All my social media handles are on there as well. So let's, let's stay. We're family. Don't. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, thank you, people. Thank you for watching. See you same time next week. Bye bye. I've been moving calm, no start out for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. Anything you guys want in the store is free, so grab whatever you guys want. I don't want to die for them to miss me.